Hey everybody, this is Justin Rohn from agroscaping.com. So it's a green thumb Thursday and I thought I'd do a little special bit to show you how to know if your sweet potatoes are ready. So I, <laughs> I'll have to walk you over here to show you how I found out this morning that my sweet potatoes are ready and it comes down to something we like to call productive pets. And so I've got a productive pet right here digging away. Hey Sadie, what you finding? So we found her she was kind of muddling around our sweet potato patch yesterday and I was curious what exactly she was doing. Well, it turns out she really loves sweet potatoes and a lot of dogs actually do. And so she'd actually dug up, you can see right in here, we got some of our big old sweet potatoes. She's already eaten a couple of them. And uh, usually what we, use, we, we figure out is that the flowers on the sweet potatoes, you can see there's a couple little flowers on here too. There's some flowers that are kind of budding over here on this side. So usually when the sweet potato vines are flowering, that's a good indicator that it's ripening underneath the ground. And usually we wait about 30 days from the beginning point of when it's flowering to when we harvest. And this is about the right time. Sadie has just beat us to the punch and she's already finding all of our sweet potatoes for us. And so she's going to keep digging for us. So be careful if you got dogs that really love sweet potatoes, and sweet potatoes are great for dogs. They're, they're very edible. It's better to actually let them dry out and cure a little bit more first. Um, we like to add a little flavor to them, maybe cook them up a little bit, make some jerky out of them. There's a lot of cool things you can do, but that's our little bit for today. This is Sadie, our supportive, productive pet here digging away in the garden. Hey, Sadie, Sadie, what'd you find? Did you find some good ones? Did you find some good sweet potatoes, huh? Did you find some good sweet potatoes? I don't know why I talk with a higher voice with my dog, but you know, it's kind of the kid thing. So she's still digging away. She's going to keep hunting for, for more sweet potatoes. And uh, we're grateful for her and grateful for all those out there that, that love to have rescue dogs like us and find out what kind of cool traits they have. She's also awesome at, at catching and killing off uh, any uh, roof rats that might come into our garden. Oh, great to see you guys. Hi, Loretta. Nice to see you. So keep posting things. Share us what's growing in your garden. We've got our pomegranates are just now ripening up, so hopefully some of you have those too. We've got them in different microclimates in our garden as well. Um, and yes, you can grow very large pomegranates here in Arizona, just like you can see some of those big guys there. And you can see it's a full, you know, full softball-sized pomegranate that we're able to grow here. And this is a nice uh, variety. This is actually a red silk. That's one that we've liked. We've got a granada, and we've also got the wonderful, which everyone has. So hopefully your garden is growing awesome. we got some new classes coming up. Hopefully you saw some of the emails. If you're not on our email list, I'd recommend getting on it. We've got a webinar coming up on the 14th. We've got a live class in Phoenix, actually at North Glen, one of our subdivisions. It's all being decked out with edibles throughout the entire subdivision. So we're doing a class out there all about the, an intro to agriscaping and the three simple steps to gardening success. So if you want to join us, that's next or just next week, next Wednesday evening, 6 o'clock Arizona time. If you want to find out more about that, again, go to agriscaping.com and make sure that you're on our mailing list. We'll send another email out shortly to be able to invite you to that. So that's it for now. You can also go to greenthumbthursday.com. Everybody in Arizona go, should go to greenthumbthursday.com and you'll get access to all of our really cool stuff, planting calendars, all that, right for here in the Phoenix area. Hopefully you enjoyed today. We'll see you next time.